In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can create um, a YouTube background using GIMP. And in this tutorial, I'll just show you how to make your YouTube background look like this. But you can, um, this is really just to give you some ideas um, on how to make yours. And so you can like modify this and choose your own styles and everything. So first off, you'll need to download a template off my website. So just go to my website, which is jxtutorials.tk, and just go to the downloads page, and just scroll down until you find YouTube template and download it. Then just open it up in GIMP. And here is what it should look like. So I have all my layers. Um, it's a PSD file, so it should be in layers. So I have the white top bar of, up here. And then I have the menu bar, which all your links are. I have the latest video box, which is um, this kind of helps you know where you should put like the if you want to put text for like latest video, like some people have, you'd put it in this box. Then the content boxes are just where all your content is. And here's the background. Um, I will be making a um, another layout for the beta design if you guys request it. Um, so if you want uh, a template for the beta design, just leave a comment asking for it. So to start out, I'm just going to make a new layer. And I'm going to put it right above the background layer. And I'm just going to grab my gradient tool. Now I have a pre-made gradient, but you can choose um, just two colors. And I'm going to stroke it like this. Now just put your gradient back to FG to BG and just set the colors, uh, your foreground color and background color to black and white. Then grab your paintbrush tool, make a new layer right above um, the uh, gradient layer and just get the brush circle 19 and I'm just gonna turn the size up a little to about 4 then I'm going under brush dynamics um, under random check size and color and then apply a jitter and amount at, um, is 5 make sure your foreground color is black and your Make sure it's black and white as your colors, and make sure your gradient tool is on FG to BG. Then just kind of, um, you can kind of just stroke around. Now once you're done doing that, just go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and I'm going to give it a blur of 25. Then just set this layer mode onto overlay. And you can lower the opacity if you want. Now make another new layer and just put it right above that layer. And again, just same settings for your paintbrush except turn the size down to two of your brush. And just do generally the same thing again. And again, once you're done, just set this layer mode onto overlay. And I have some nice, you have a nice background now. Now just move on to the text, um, and if you want you can go back and edit this a little, like add more, everything, so this just helps you create a nice little background, but um, again, once you become better at making backgrounds, then you can just choose your own style. Um, I'm just giving you an example of how to make this specific background, um, because I really had no other background in mind. So now just grab your text tool. And the font I'll be using is Baruda. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I'm just going to type in latest, oops, latest video right here in this latest video section. And that will appear under my latest video box. So I'm just going to turn the font size up a little to 50. And just move that over. And now you can add more text and everything. Um, once you're done adding your text, 
Now, um, I like to do this. You don't have to make a new layer. Um, you might want to rename all your layers, so because there's quite a few layers involved if, if you make a really complicated one. So you might want to name them so you don't forget what they all are. Now, I'm just going to get my rectangular select tool, and I'm going to make a selection um, like this um, so that it's around the content boxes. Um, just like this. And I'm just going to paint that in with the color white. Then go to select none. Now just go to filters, light and shadow, drop shadow. And for offset X, I put zero. Offset Y, I put zero. Blur radius, I can put in 20. Opacity, 100. And uncheck allow resizing. Then just select OK. Um, you can duplicate that layer just to make the shadow a little bolder. And I'm just going to merge down that white layer with all the drop shadows. And now you can set that layer mode onto overlay, or you can um, keep it on normal and just lower the opacity of it. So I'm just going to move that layer down. Um, I'm not sure why I just like doing that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete the content boxes and the rest of these little so I went ahead and finished up um, adding text and everything. So once you're done with that, just um, go to Image, Merge Visible Layers, and go ahead and merge down all your layers. And I'm just going to go to Layer, Layer to Image Size. Now I would recommend blending um, the bottom of this. And by, to do this, just get your gradient tool and set your foreground color onto whatever color you want to choose. Um, I'm just going to be using black and just kind of stroke it so that um, now now it'll blend and it won't look weird when it cuts off. Now just you just have to remember on your YouTube settings for your background just choose the same color um, as your background color as this so I would have to choose black as my background color. Then if you want, you can um, you can also fade out the sides like this. Um, and this just, and there you go. That's your YouTube background, but now you just have to save it. So go to File, Save, or actually uh, File, Save As. And you have to save it as a JPEG file, so .jpg. And for quality, set that down to 80 and save it. And now um, YouTube will accept it because sometimes the file sizes are too large and everything. So yeah, there you go. That's how you make your own YouTube background. And um, so eventually, just like you can modify this tutorial, but this is just to give you some basic ideas of how to make your own YouTube background.